What is going on YouTube land? I am Chris Catalunya. Before we get into this review of a new colorway, go ahead and check out my Instagram at Chris Catalunya with an underscore at the end. Go ahead and like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you'll know when I upload a new video. Fight the algorithm and help me get to 25,000 subs by the end of the year. I appreciate you. Also, this video, it would not be possible without the efforts from Kicking It ATX. Kicking It is a sneaker boutique located in the Domain Shopping Center in North Austin, Texas. Whether you're looking for the latest from Nike, Adidas, Saucony, The Hundreds, or you just want to talk up your shoe game in the full service bar lounge in the back, Kicking It has what you need. Check them out at kickingitatx.com. All right, the box that we have in hand here, it is pretty standard. There's nothing special going on here. We have the black lid with the red Jordan Jumpman and the cement print gray tray. Opening the box, we have that white cement print tissue paper that hides the shoes underneath. Officially on the Nike website, these are listed as the Nike Air Jordan 5, the orange blaze. But you know how it goes, make a shoe in the signature orange, and it's only bound to be dubbed by the general public as the Shattered Backboard 5s. This isn't a retro, it's a brand new colorway that enters the picture just in time for the Halloween season. Also, if you're a Netherlands fan, this is a mandatory pickup. Matches the kit pretty well. Quick history, the Jordan 5 is a classic silhouette made by none other than Tinker Hatfield. Its design was inspired by the American P-51 fighter plane. The shark teeth, they transferred onto this Jordan 5 flawlessly. Present day, the Shattered Backboard 5s, these release on October 2nd, 2021. Most retailers attaining a Jordan brand account should be getting this GR shoe, general release. That's your boutiques like Kiki ATX, your mall retailers like your Champs, and of course, our beloved Sneakers app. Good luck to you. Now this will set you back $190 USD, add your tax and your VAT based on where you reside. Resale is slightly above the retail price point to about $250 USD, just dependent on the size that you need. First impression, it's a cool shoe. Definitely, it matches my Netherlands and my Houston Dynamo kits. I love the color blocking on the shoe, the scheme of the sail, the black, the orange, the leather across the shoe. It feels pretty great and it looks pretty great. And of course, the shark teeth, they pop. Dope shoe. The upper is of a smooth format sail colored leather featured on the mud guard, the vamp, the quarter panels on the ladder on the medial sides of the shoe, and the bottom half of the heel counter. The grid meshing taking place on the sides and the heel of the shoe, they feel a bit plasticky or vinyl-y if that's even a word and are a bit deceiving. Usually when you think of like mesh material, you think of airflow and this is far from the truth. These aren't very breathable. And by the looks of it, these kind of remind me of like eighth grade home economics class and learning how to cross stitch on plastic canvas. This looks like that plastic canvas. Now, I do enjoy the transparent feature at the heel, revealing the two foam inserts on the left and the right sides of the shoe, adding some style points back to the shoe. Now, since we are back here, a black Jordan Jumpman is embroidered onto the heel instead of Nike Air. The lacing system, most of the eyelets are punched into a white TPU where we have black TPU eyelets sitting at the top. Now, we're only provided with a single set of sail color laces, which look pretty good. Though, you can always purchase an additional set of assorted colors from Foxtrot or Rope Lace Supply. Definitely, a matching orange or a black would look legit on these shattered backboard fives. The tongues sitting behind the laces are outfitted with that same grid meshing material three fourths of the way. At the top of the tongue, you'll see that 3M reflective material that is employed with that Jordan Jumpman embroidered in orange. The lining of the shoe is a black cotton fabric that is heavily padded on the lateral, the medial, and the heels of the shoe, and also on the reverse side of the tongue to secure and comfort the ankle. An upside down orange Air Jordan moniker is placed on a shimmery woven label that graces the back side of the tongue. It's kind of gaudy if you ask me. The insoles are removable in the event that you have your own orthotics, need pronation insoles, whatever the case may be. 
You can rock some Heliflux boost like insoles or rock soft soles like myself. I have a link in the description below. Now, the stock insoles, they're an orange piece of fabric with a black Jordan Jumpman laid across a thin piece of gray foam that offers little to no comfort and support. The midsole looks hella good. Again, taking inspiration from that P-51 fighter plane, giving shark teeth vibes. Mainly, this midsole is composed of Nike's Phylon technology, which is an EVA foam build. Now, employing that color of that orange blaze, that black, that shiny silver with cement plane splatter done up in black, it takes what would otherwise be a tame looking shoe to the next level. The Jordan 5 models employs air units in the encapsulated yet visible air unit at the heel with the chamber structures being of that sail color. And there's a unit in the forefoot of the shoe that is invisible. The translucent orange rubber compound outsole is themed accordingly, and this enables visibility to the red jumpman that you see towards the toes. Herringbone patterns make up the traction marks that you see on the forefoot and at the heel of the shoe. Smack dab in the middle is that black rubber that dons Jordan's name. When it comes to sizing, true to size is suggested. Jordan 5s, they're not regularly in stock at local retailers to get like a gauge of what you should be pulling for. Whatever you wear in Jordan 1s should work out in these. In terms of comfortability, stock right out of the box, they're all right, they're okay. Probably not something that I would wanna rock for eight hours of the day. Overall, the Orange Blaze Fives or the Shattered Backboard Fives, whatever name you like into this specific colorway, it's a cool looking shoe that may fly under the radar. The materials used on it are great. The autumn Halloween hits I can rock with. The subtle shiny pieces like the teeth or the 3M reflective material, they're dope. At the $190 price point and it being a new colorway, I'm not mad at these Shattered Backboard Fives at all. All right, guys, I think this is a good stopping point for this video. What do you think about the Shattered Backboard 5s? Are you calling it that or are you calling it the Orange Blaze? Are you going to try to pick these up? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Go ahead and check out my Instagram at Chris Catalunya with an underscore at the end. Go ahead and like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you'll know when I upload a new video. Fight the algorithm and help me get to 25,000 subs. All right, guys. Thanks for kicking it with me. I'm Chris Catalunya, and we will check you next time. Cheers. See you now. Also, go UTSA football. 4-0, baby. Birds up. <laughs>